what is he doing now? What were some of the shining moments in his MMA career? And along with the peaks, what were some of the valleys? And here's what I found out. First, I'm gonna start at the roots. Travis Brown was born in Oahu, Hawaii. Moved to San Diego to live with his mom after his dad passed away when he was 10. After graduating high school, he played one year of basketball at Palomar Community College. Apparently his collegiate career was cut short due to having issues in that classroom with his grades. Once he was no longer competing with other college athletes, he started playing in local rec leagues. According to an interview with Inside MMA, his transition to MMA happened after he knocked somebody out in a pickup game. After that moment, he realized he had some potential in fighting. I mean, the man has an imposing six foot seven inch frame and has devastating knockout power. He first started training jiu-jitsu at 26 years of age, which is definitely a late time to start an MMA career. It didn't take him long to begin sparring, and then he proved to be quite the striker after getting the better of some of the more experienced fighters during training. After only nine months of MMA training, he had his first pro fight. It only took him two years to make it to the UFC after he began training which is highly impressive. In his first 14 pro fights, he went 13-0-1. The one draw being against a very experienced Czech Congo at UFC 120. He started his career strong, going 4-0-1 in his first five UFC fights. At the height of his career, he made it to a number one contender bout to become next in line for the UFC heavyweight title. But unfortunately, his career was a tale of two halves. In the first half of his career, he went 7-1-1 one, one in the UFC. In the second half, he went 2-6, losing his final four fights. This urged Dana White to suggest Brown to retire. This begs the question, how did Travis Brown go from winning the 2013 Breakout Fighter of the Year award from the World MMA Awards to getting finished in three of his last four UFC fights? So what happened to Travis Brown? Some believe the evolution of the sport caught up to him. Some may say personal issues could have played a factor with two failed marriages and a domestic violence charge uh, from his wife, Jenna Renee Webb. Some believe his switch from Jackson Winks to Glendale Fight Club spelled the demise of his MMA career. So he went five and two at Jackson Winks and went two and five after switching to Glendale Fight Club could also say that once he gained his financial freedom and began a happy relationship with Ronda Rousey, that might have sapped his hunger to compete at the highest level. It could be a combination of all of the above. Sometimes all it takes is one knockout loss or an all-out war to completely alter a fighter's trajectory. Ultimately, I think Brown did actualize his potential. He wasn't the best wrestler, didn't have the best cardio. He was mainly known for his vicious elbows, swinging overhand punches, good finishing instinct, solid ground to pound, and being very light on his feet. Now, of course, that is overly simplified, but with that tool set, he managed to win nine UFC fights. He earned seven performance bonuses. He had seven first round finishes in the UFC and he won over $1.4 million during his time at the UFC. His most lucrative fight being against Derek Lewis where he walked away with $170,000 before taxes. His career was better than most. Not many fighters walk in the octagon 17 times and win a majority of the time. Now what is Travis Brown up to now? Him and Ronda Rousey are raising Brown's two children while tending a 2.4 acre sustainable farm called Browsey Acres in Riverside, California. Rousey and Brown are also trying to have a child of their own, but they aren't trying to rush it. Along with trying to expand their family, they also continually are expanding their farm. This farm has goats, chickens, roosters, steers. You could follow the activities of the farm at uh, rondarousey.com or at Browsey Acres on Instagram. Outside of the peaceful retirement life on a farm, Brown likes to go hunting and enjoys cooking. Considering him and Rousey are financially set for life, they can afford to indulge to whatever makes them happy. I couldn't find any evidence of whether or not he still 
trains MMA or plays basketball, which was his first passion. Overall, Brown's MMA career didn't end up happily ever after, but his personal life is trending that way.